We are here. It has been a long time. Uh, three years? <laughs> three years to be exact? Since I played The Last of Us. The first one and the DLC and the trailer react. It's been three years. And I'll be honest, I didn't realize how long ago and how fast time flew. But we are here, and I am here and ready to go to play The Last of Us Part 2 and see where the story takes us. I have to admit, obviously it's been three years, but I remember a lot of The Last of Us, and I will have to thank the new series that was released on HBO Max, or HBO, for that, and it really got me pumped to do this. Uh, a lot of what took forever is just between life being busy and I really wanted to upgrade my recording equipment. Um, so I got a new capture card, got a new mic, got a new camera, all that good stuff. But anyway, to give y'all the best experience and to give me the best experience while playing this game and recording at the same time. Anyway, I'm super excited. Um, the Last of Us is a very emotional game. It's a very fun game. It's a very heart-wrenching, tear-filling, you just feel like you're so immersed type of game. Uh, and I'm super excited to see where the story goes. I will admit that I've tried to record, I want to say last year, I did try to do the start of the series uh, a little bit after the game came out. And that's when life just got crazy. And I was like, okay, I gotta wait. I gotta wait till I'm ready, stable, and ready to jump in so I can give everything my all when playing this game. So anyway, we are at that point. We are here, and I'm super excited, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. If you haven't played the game, I'm sure you have, right? Nobody would wait as long as I did to play the second of The Last of Us, but here I am, the weirder that I am. Um, to preface, if you are new, well, let me just fall over. To preface, if you are new to my channel, uh, a lot of my content is Pokemon related, uh, nerdy things, Final Fantasy, stuff like that. So The Last of Us was actually just a blind playthrough that I had played a couple years back because I heard it was a really good game. And I'm not one for zombies, I'm not one for shooting, I'm not one for action adventure, whatever genre you want to put this in. But when I played through and the people who were engaged and watched and showed interest and, and helped me along that game, the first one, uh, it, it, it I, I'm dedicated to it. I have to play the second one. I have to know what happens. I need to know... What's going on with Ellie? What's going on with Joel, right? And I should say, I'm going to say spoiler alert just in case. I haven't played the first Last of Us. Um, but Ellie is immune. Uh, the Cyto Crispies, the ones that make everybody a zombie. <laughs> um, and Joel was tasked to take her to a certain group that was supposed to help study her and figure out what in her body or her blood or her genes or her DNA was making her immune so they could share that with the people and get rid of the infected world that they are living in. Well, that wasn't quite successful and Joel t chose his relationship with Ellie over turning her in because she would not have lived. That's what I remember anyway. Uh, there's the DLC of the before Ellie, or sorry, Ellie and Joel. Um, with her friend in the mall and when she learned that she was immune. Um, so that's what I recall, right? We, we left off with Joel and Ellie and I don't think their relationship was super hot. But anyway, we'll jump in and we'll figure that out as we go. But I do remember a handful of it, so, <laughs> so don't yell at me. Um, I know there's some diehard fans out there, so understand that Again, I don't play these types of games, um, so please don't be sad or hurt or feel bad that I don't remember a lot of it or I miss stuff, but please point it out, right? If I do miss something, I'd love to know. I'd love to, you know, go back even in a later playthrough, me playing by myself, to experience the whole game um, and just build this community because this game is amazing. They did amazing, and I know the second one is going to be just as amazing. All right, anyways, let's start this off. So here's the beginning screen. I went through all the settings. And we've got press any button, and we've got a boat and some water tied off. I don't know why, but <laughs> we do. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to jump right into the story, uh, start ourselves a new game here. 
I am a noob. Provides a balanced experience. Resources are limited. Light. I could do light because you guys probably don't want to watch me die a million times. Yeah, I think that's what we'll go with. Aiming, lock a lock on aim, sure. Awareness indicators, yes. Always camera assist. Permadeath, whoa. Adds additional challenge. No, we don't want that. I guess I should read what this one is. Lock on. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I, again, I'm a noob. Okay, I'm not playing this for the difficulty. I'm playing this for the story. Because I want to know what happens. So don't judge my newbiness and the fact that I'm going to play this online. Change level can be changed at any time in the options difficulty. Okay, so if I do find it's a little too easy and not any challenge to it, I can change it. So let's hit start and jump on in. Okay. Cordyceps. That was the word I was not crispies. <laughs> Cordyceps. That's what the infected is from. Oh, we got the loading screen. Sorry, we gotta wait. I'm super excited. I really am. I'm nervous because I feel like I forgot a lot of the last and I'll probably watch old episodes while I'm doing these episodes just to keep myself refreshed. Sony Interactive. Entertainment. Naughty Dog Game. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. You go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Because of her, they were actually gonna make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Jesus Christ, Joel. What do you do? I saved her. That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you?
didn't say otherwise. <laughs> we should head back. Already in control. Okay. Well, there's our recap. Right. Joel did not have the heart to let go of his girl Evie, Ellie. Do I blame him? No. If you saw somebody laying on a medical bed about to lose their life to save the world, if they were that special to you, like, could you do it? I don't blame Joel. I, I, I mean, he made the decision that was best for her, best for him. Plus, there's no guaranteed chance, right? She could have laid on that medical bed, got tested, probed, and whatnot, came out of it dead, and all for naught. There was no, there was too much of the what ifs, I'm sure, for Joel to justify letting her die. And even if they could have said, yeah, 100%, we're going to make sure this cure goes out and we can cure the world. I don't think Joel could have done it. He went through enough watching his daughter, Sarah, um, you know, die. Stay out. So I don't blame him. But what surprises me, and I guess it shouldn't, is the fact that he didn't tell her. He said that she, it meant nothing, right? Like it, it didn't matter. They ran some tests and it's not gonna help the people. It's not gonna help anybody. But to look at Ellie's side, she had one purpose in life in this crazy goddamn life, living in a world like this, being raised like this. And her purpose after she found out was I could be a cure to return the world to normal. I don't think I can get off my horse. And to be told that we went through all that, Ellie, all of that together, all of the heartache, all of the gore, all of the blood, for absolutely nothing. Like, that would be soul crushing. She had a purpose and that purpose is gone. What purpose is she gonna find now? You know? Plus, now that I think about it, we're with Tommy. We are not with Ellie. Where is Ellie? <laughs> Don't tell me we uh, fought. Now I do remember in the first Last of Us, didn't didn't Joel promise to sing to her or something? Or he did sing to her, I thought. But when he's holding the guitar, that reminded me of that. Well, I can confirm that we are still in an apocalyptic world. Nothing has changed, it looks like. I want to I want to say that I vaguely remember the trailer. I should have watched it before recording this, to be honest. Um, the trailer for this game, but again, I, I really like the idea of coming in completely blind. If I vaguely remember, though, for what I do remember, is this game is going to be a lot of about Ellie, and it's about people against people, really. Like what humanity has turned into. I don't think, I don't think it, that it's gonna be like, oh, the world is cured of the the Krispies and, um, yeah, we're calling them Krispies because I'm gonna keep forgetting the other word. The world is cordyceps. The world is not gonna just magically be cured from the cordyceps, right? It, it's like a, it's like the cold and the flu. Like it just doesn't go away. Sorry, no, I'm going the wrong way. I'm just looking around. Um. So it's really, I feel like, going to be people against the people, just based on the trailer of this game. 
I think there's cults and stuff or something like that, right? Like it's not, it's not, oh, now we have a purpose to save the world. Now it's, uh, we need to fight to survive. That's what I get the feel of anyway from the trailer. Obviously, I, I don't know. I've played a little bit of the beginning when I was gonna record a while ago, but it didn't really give me much to work off of, so. And honestly, I don't even remember. Stop. Identify yourself before approaching. I am Joel, badass of badassery. Well, it looks like we've got a community of sorts. Is this the same community that uh, Tommy was at the last time? It's okay. I got him. You go on. You sure? Yeah. Right. About what we were talking about earlier. <clears throat> I can't say I'd have done different. Take it to the grave if I have to. I'll see you later. Well, at least Tommy's supportive, huh? Neil Druckmann, you are the bomb. I hope you know that. Give me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but. Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are, you know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're. Helping out. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day, and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke, and I, I thought about you. It's, um, oh, shoot, now I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late, and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair. I just, um... I, I want to show you something. Just give me one second. What's this? Well, some folks call this thing here a guitar. You want to hear something? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. I won't. I'm trusting you. I 
Oh, I gotta help? Use L to choose a chord. Oh no. can see our future days, days of you and me. There you go. didn't suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. What do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Deal. Okay. Okay. Did... Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. That's so dumb. <laughs> Good night, kiddo. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina? Oh. I thought this... We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? No. She was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't... I would never... Oh, fuck, this is awkward. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. You're the worst. That's kind of fucked up you did that. Get your stuff together, we're already late. Well... 
smells fine. <laughs> yeah, that's how my kids wake up in the morning. Well, wow, that was that was a bit. That was a bit. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Joel didn't promise to sing to her, but he promised to teach her how to play guitar. That does sound more a little more accurate. Um, like a stray thing in my hand. So what the hell just happened? Like, Ellie seems so not excited to see Joel. She was not the little girl that depended on him anymore. Is she leading her own life? I mean, now is four years later. But she didn't... That was not the same Ellie. Obviously, there has been some sort of uh, like mental enlightening effect, effect on her after what happened at the end of the first one. But my heart, my heart, when Joel sang to her... And her eyes and her demeanor, that is what she needed. She needed to know Joel was there for her, it seemed like. Even through what they went through. So anyway, that was a very touching scene. And and I guess it makes sense, right? I. Their relationship's probably a little rocky. It's hard to see, though. It's hard to see, especially after the first one, when Ellie relied on him so much. Like, she couldn't live without Joel. She wouldn't have made it as far as she did without Joel's dedication to her. Okay. <sighs> sure. Is that homework, girl? You gotta catch up. But now it looks like we're four years later. It seems, assuming, that Ellie's got her own place, right? She's got her own bed. She's she's built her own atmosphere that she enjoys. Uh, her comics and stuff. The cards, I believe, and the comics. She's got here some action figures. Looks like maybe she even does some painting. Um, in that previous scene, she was, she was a very good artist, which I'm surprised. But I guess when you're in a world with no electronics, you just kind of learn to adapt and and find your own hobbies and find your own meaning in life especially what, after what she's went through looks like we got some pictures there there's ellie there's the dude we met at the door jesse and i'm wondering if that's not dina we got a horse dina some comic stuff and i can't really tell who's on the horse and i don't know if i can zoom in but there's some people on a horse. 6.41 a.m. What do we got over here? There's the guitar. Even four years later, she has the guitar. So that's good news, right? That means her and Joel are still maybe in talking. Good relationship. Got yourself a DVD player. PlayStation 3. Oh, man. What are you playing, girl? Is that Bleach? Huh? What does it say? What does it say? Brave Limit. No, it's Naruto. Is that supposed to be Naruto? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, got got some games. Jack and Dexter. That's shit. That's cool. All right, all right. So I guess we're supposed to be getting up and doing something with Is this Joel dude up? named Jesse. Shut up. I was just about to get up. Okay. I was. You got everything? <sighs> yes. Okay, okay. So Joel, Joel, Joel is still a part of her life. Good, 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 good. Sorry, I don't know if you noticed, but this keeps like popping in and out. <laughs> it's bothering me. Um, so Joel is still a prominent person in her life, so that's good. Her checking up on him means good things. Good things that we can handle. But there's infected to the north, so him and Tommy went out, and I'm glad Tommy and his relationship is good. Heads up, you're the talk of the town this morning. <sighs> what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dean. <sighs> she kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. Or have a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Sounds exciting. Sorry, I missed it. Okay, well that's a turn of events. I have no clue what happened last night. But apparently some shit went down, some drama. Uh, 
who's Seth? I don't know. I know Joel. Joel apparently decked Seth. Apparently Seth was being a prick enough. And stepped on somebody's toes for Joel to punch him. Dina? Ex-girlfriend of this guy, sounds like. Oh, look at this. Be safe out there. We always are. Like a whole greenhouse garden going on. That's pretty cool. Sorry, I just want to take it slow. I know through the first one, I kind of just rushed through it, and all of y'all were yelling at me. Maria wants a word with you. Where is she? Because I wasn't looking around. The diner. Is this about Seth? No clue. Just tell her you never saw me. Nope. Where's your fucking loyalty? Three and all. Excuse me. Excuse me. Loyalty. Apparently, you kissed his ex-girlfriend one week in. Can I talk to you? No. Hey, so we're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know. It's just I don't want you to think. Ellie, we're cool. Promise. Thanks. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we're in the encampment that Tommy had made that we got to in the first game. I'm pretty sure that that's it. Unless I'm remembering more of the uh, series they've got going instead of the game. Help needed. Moving horse supplies from side to side of stable. Tuesday, the winter dance. Help needed. We need someone to catch on... Check on the horses on Friday. Ooh, what's that? Oh, a card! Sorry, guys. I don't know why my headphone keeps popping out. Badass. Badass. At least she still likes... her card stuff. Maybe it's a little more prominent this game. Okay, give up. It's snowing, it's winter. Hey, Ellie. Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. So we need to go see Maria. I do remember Maria, because Maria... Wasn't she the one that t told Joel and what's-her-name to take me? Hi, puppy. Hey, old-timer. Yeah, get a good scratch. <laughs> I don't think I can talk to anybody, can I? It's good to see all these people, though. Everybody's getting along. Reproduction's happening. There's children's. No puppers. The Winter Dance. Housebreaking Rufus. That's a movie. Downtown hall meeting Monday. Food. Oh. Hey, Jesse. Well, hello. Shh. Here she comes. Shh. Oh, I'm coming. I'm sorry. Hi. Rental. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm finding stuff. Scavenged parts. Oh, free parts. Cool. Thank you. Free. Oh, I like free stuff. Um, but wasn't Maria the one that sent Joel out to uh, get Ellie to the fireplace? Or am I thinking of the wrong gal? No! Maria and Tommy are together. I, I don't remember. Want to grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. Apparently, I'm the talk of the town. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ellie. There you are. Come here. Hey. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me. Please. Seth. Seth, come here. Oh, fuck me. Hey. He looks like a creep. Uh, 
Look, last night I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. I, uh, made you some sandwiches. Okay. Your steak. Thank you, Seth. Yeah, well, uh, you be safe out there. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bacon sandwiches. Mmm. Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. So, the only thing that I can think of this guy doing is being a total pervert. Is that what you are? Is that why Jill punched you? Because I could see him doing that. Especially after that scene with Mr. Pastor Dude. In the first game. Dude, you, ch you cut like a chump. I have no clue what Seth did. Hopefully we will learn what Seth did. We found another card. The twins. Finders keepers. These random cards just lying around. That's funny. Nobody else thought to pick them up. We got a nice little old town bar going on here. Oh, some game hanging up there. Winter menu. I don't think there's anything else of significance in here. Hi. I do know I need to go out and see what's up. When you go out, I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. I mean, there's too many sightings I've infected recently. Of course. I was gonna check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dean has done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. No well, that solves that. Ellie, can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, yeah, I think so. Are you gonna yell at me? Free puppies to anyone that will take one. Has moved due to space issues and lost found is now located at the end of Main Street in the new back of the leather. Winter dance. Ooh, whose name's on here? Oh, Pollock. Okay. Need trade as a ASAP. ASAP. Ch child's Jacket needed. Have men's boots to trade. Okay. Town hall meeting Monday. Sweet, sweet. Penguins. Pretty flowers. Snowflakes. And a snowman. Monday. Check for front frost on plants. Bleach toys. Fire safety. Bleach toys. Kinder play. Why are we bleaching toys so much? Jeez. We need some volunteers to help out this Thursday while Kelly's on patrol duty. Please let either Kelly or Bobby know. Blah, blah, blah. And there's a little, a real, there's a real person in there. That's got to have some significance. My name is Mary. Hello, Mary. Are you like one of the creator's daughters or something? That would be adorable. I did notice there was like a daycare and stuff. That's super cute. So, look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria, the guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. You're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Yo, Dina! Assignments! <clears throat> Just give me a minute! Can we get your girlfriend to the stables, please? Oh, God. Hey, Dina! Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys! I'm tapping out! Hey, hey. Um, I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's it's okay. 
I totally get it. I... <laughs> I just, I felt bad. Why? Because I, I started the whole thing, and... I just, I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people, and... No, you were drunk, it's fine. Well, still, I just, I don't want you to think... No, I'm not reading into it or anything, just... You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Oh, yeah. Ow! What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Because you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> I hate this kid so much. You want to fuck him up? Yeah, I do. You asked for it. You better run, you little shit! Holy shit! Get to cover! Go! Go! Oh my god. <laughs> Go! <laughs> gotcha! We're on the floor! Dina won! All right. Well, I guess we're playing a freaking. Whoa. No! How do I crash? Oh, dang it! Oh, Get I'm back here, stinker. You, tiny. <laughs> Got him. Eat that. Fuck yeah! I, I mean, frick. Don't tell your mom. Don't tell your mom. <laughs> I guess I'm going for this kid. Couldn't tell you why, but he's oh, easy like to get. Come here, little. Ow! Kid. Come here, kiddo. Boom! Okay. You, I hope you're not watching me for my, uh, game skills, because they're irrelevant. Doesn't ma matter how much times I play this game, there's no skill here. Okay. I'm just warning you now. If you're new, you've seen my last one, you know this. Oh, yeah. But if you're new, you've been forewarned. I'm gonna come over there and Don't come at me. Like, for real. Right there. Gotcha. Uh -huh. ah! Ow! I know where you live, Alex. I can't even freaking not get hit in a snowball fight. You expect me to fight zombies? Get it, kid. Oh no, you got snow in your hair. If you were not a child, I would pelt you in the face. I think okay. we would all okay. chelt a ch pelt a child in the face. I'm just saying. Come here. Gotcha. <laughs> well, they're having fun though. That's a good thing. Come on, kiddo. Got him. No care. Eat it, shrimps. Hey. hey. How's it feel? <laughs> no. Get her. Help me. You'll never get away with this. Get off of her, you monsters. All right. All right. We actually have some work to do. Scram. Oh, man. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Well, we've learned that Dina is great with kids. I think that's perfect so wife material. Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice he assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. Morning, girls. Morning. Good morning. Ooh. Hey, ladies. I'll bring them in. Thank you. A pretty horse. There's Dina. So what does Ellie do around here? Rules. Always stay inside of your partner. Do not engage unless... Do not enter beyond map. Do not stay out past sunset. Some bread. My horses. I got a lot of horses. Hello. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Come on. Alright. Hey, Shimmer. Shimmer. Oh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. And one for you. Open it up. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your logbooks, clear any infected you see. 
You run into anything you can't handle, you come back. Be smart about it. All right. Get going. What were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You're doing your teeth grinding thing. Where have you been? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. This way. Okay. Well, hello. Who are you? And why am I controlling your body? <laughs> what? Okay, I, 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 I'm kind of clueless. I don't know who this is and I don't know who he is. It's cold. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. I don't know how to feel about this, but my gut says I don't like where this is going. So... I don't... understand why we're playing other characters. Like, this isn't Ellie or Joel, or anybody I feel like we've met. What are you doing wandering around out here by yourself? I've been restless. You too? I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You wanna keep going? Just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. You can see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories somehow. Yeah, no, probably not. Sorry, there's footprints. I gotta follow it real quick. What's up? Oh, it's the same path. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's something hidden over here. Nope, it's just back the way we came. Hello. Anyway, we're not playing. These must be new characters. I have presumed this. It's part of the tutorial, okay? But they have to do with something in the story. You did right? all this in the dark? Yes. Now come on. Those must be his tracks. His original tracks, I should say. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so sorry. Well, if you went this way originally, why are we going up there? We keep going like this. We're gonna be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. Hey, is Mel okay? 
She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. Mail must be somebody else. It's not these two, but we apparently need to anticipate somebody named Mail. Careful jumping over these. Do what I want, thank you. you Maybe I don't want to be milk? careful. What? No. We wish. Uh, <laughs> I've had my fill. Thank you. Okay. Male is her, his, significant other. Ouch. I can't all be as graceful as you. Clearly. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Is it? I mean, that is kind of terrifying. Shit. Eyes on me. Abby. Abby. Stop looking down. Owen, do we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> We have Abby, we have Owen, and we have Mel. Do we know anything about them? No. Apparently these two have been together before, and now he is with a male person. And he's showing me something that's uh, so important that we're out here playing in the snow. Is it? Shit. Don't. No. We made it. Holy shit. That's it's fucking city. That's Tommy's, isn't it? Yeah. No, 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 no. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. I saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. I can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? We can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. Well, then we make them. Do you hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Mel's pregnant. Oh. Okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're going to want to turn back. We can convince him, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Hey. Don't. See you back at the lodge. Hey, wait, 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 slow down. I'll do the whole thing on my own. It sounded like, well, obviously Owen doesn't want to do whatever their original plan was because Mel's pregnant and he's got a baby on the way and that makes sense as a parent. But one, who the hell are they looking for? And two, 
it wasn't I did not catch the mood that they were like, oh yay, a town. We can be with people and help support everybody. No, that sounded like we can figure out how to take over the town or find this person that we're after. So that is uh disheartening hardening? Because they they don't want to join. It does not sound like they want to join. I could be wrong. I I don't think they have any interest in joining the colony. Now, my small amount of wits that I have makes me feel like obviously that is Tommy's colony where Joel and Ellie are and Tommy and blah 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 blah. It's got to be. There's no other giant town like that that I know of. Unless this game is a spin-off of Screw Joel and Ellie. How do I run again? Let's to crawl. I think it's L. There we go. Jump. You know how difficult that would be? I'm just saying it would be very hard. Anyway, so this lady, Miss Abby here, is uh one, obviously jealous that Mr. Owen had imprinted. It's just a short hike. Impregnated another female, which she obviously knew they were dating, so uh, inevitably. But anyway, she didn't feel very good about that. And so she said, fuck it, because she's letting her emotions get the best of her. And is gonna go to this location, which I want to anticipate either has our girls, Abby, and not Abby. Pregnant. Ellie and Dina, or Joel and Tommy, or Jesse. Somebody important to us. I know this game well enough. Shit. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. You know what? We have got 57 minutes in <laughs> per my timer and have not met a single zombie. You alive? I'm not ready for this. <laughs> You're not alive? No? Okay, 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 okay. You're dead? I'm not feeling it. I only have five bullets. And I forgot how to be like. Okay, I figured it out. Oh. Why are they all dead? Oh shit. Please don't. I'm not ready. My heart's not ready. Kiss that wall, girl. Oh my god. That's gonna be around the corner. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> okay. They've all been dead so far. All right, the cordyceps. Oh, shit, that scared the hell out of me. No, 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 no! Go away! Square. 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 Square! Mila, the shit are you! Oh. Is there more? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Hello! Hi! 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 Yeah! Oh, Elda Dodge. Elda Dodge. Elda Dodge. Elda Dodge. Square punch. Elda Dodge. Oh. Okay, I'm dodging at the wrong time. Catch you! Bitch! Oh. I don't want to use my gun if I don't have to, because I feel like if I use my gun... There's gonna be more than just one of them at a time. Okay, there's more. I got this. I got this, right? I think we're good. We're confident. Dodge! Punch! 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 Oh shit. Oh shit. Dodge! Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh my god, there's two. Okay, I'm using my gun. Stop! I'm gonna die! I just got here! Oh, shit. Okay, it's in 
encouraging me to use my fists. Hello. You, you just freaking motherfucker! I'm dying. Oh. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I take it back. I don't want to play anymore. I'm so sorry, Abby. <laughs> I suck at this. Okay. Hold L R2 to heal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay. And if you're new to this, this is what you should anticipate the whole fucking game because <laughs> I am not good. I am not good. <laughs> it's zero skill. Okay. I'm in it for the story. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I need to get a view. A view of what? Yeah, girl, you still hurt? I'm so sorry. And I have to apologize now of my newbiness, because that shouldn't have been as bad as it was, but holy crap. I was not prepared, okay? I was totally invested in the story. What was oh going God, on? And forgot the, uh, er, the crunchies, the zombies. The infested. We're part of this. <laughs> okay. Uh, why do I have a bad feeling about this? Hello. This is a bad idea, Abby. Yeah, no shit, girl. I hear something. <gasps> I see something moving. <laughs> I don't like making loud noises. I feel like it, <laughs> it always infect it, it, it always attracts the things you don't want around. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I don't think I could have meleeed in there. Try imagine trying to get like a right hook going. Where's your knife? <laughs> you need a knife. Okay. not fall into a pit of zombies again, okay? I said don't fall! Abby, I don't okay. like you. You're stubborn. It's gotta be close. You say that. Why does it look like I can go in there? Oh. Oh. Hell's... There we go. Oh, shit. I want to listen. Okay. It says stay crouched to sneak up on enemies and press triangle to grab them. I would love to. Grab! Stealth kill! What am I doing? Strangling? Do they have to have oxygen? You know, I never am I never asked that question. It's like you can strangle them. Like they need oxygen. Oh, we'll never know. It's okay. Okay. Oh, deep breaths. I knew it couldn't just last feel good story forever. Huh. No, eventually eventually it had to get intense. I'm gonna freaking pull my own hair out. Alright, let's see what we got. That's gross. It looks like either Rust or somebody decided to take themselves out. Take themselves out. They were a fisherman. Sure got a lot of bathrooms here. Okay, here's just nasty moldy Rust. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Is a fishing pole or a broom? That's a weird ass broom. Bunch of diapers. Ooh, is that more ammo? Oh, perfect. Perfect. But I cannot go out that way. Oh, there's stairs. 
don't know. I wonder if the same type of zombies are in this. I would assume so. Or infected, sorry. I would assume so. I would assume that the clickers and the bloaters and all of them are still in here. Oh, I'm sorry! <coughs> kill, 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 kill. Why don't you have a knife? Oh. Maybe she's snapping their neck, not uh, strangling them. Oh no. Oh. I do not like green eggs and am. No, I do not, Sam. Nor do I like blood and guts, but here we are. Are you gonna move? So I can kindly uh, kill you? He's not gonna move, is he? Oh! Can I stealth kill him in the front? What are we about to find out? <laughs> Sure is a lot of ammo for us. Is that is that because I picked noob mode? Fuck, I'm so lost. No shit, girl. I hear more of them. Oh, I wasn't ready. Oh. Okay, here's this guy. There's more though. Look at him. Got that guy and that one and that one. Come back! Let me stealth kill you here. Oh, I can move him. Stealth kill. Oh no, I don't want. I don't. I don't have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. Okay, there's three of them. You got this, you got this. Let me get into it. There's that guy. Ooh. Okay, he's walking away. So I can get this mofo. Still kill him. Oh, that was stupid. Go! Go! L dodge! L dodge! L dodge! Oh my gosh, my battery's not dead. Okay, I'm sorry! I'm stuck in this game! Reload, reload, reload. Okay, that was an accident. I did not mean to punch me. I went to crouch right here. Oh, bad. Right here. So pissed. It's doing so good. Okay, I can climb under the semi or I can climb under the truck. Why does that have to be more than one option? This is probably the wrong option. No, we're good. We're good. They both go to the same location. Oh. Okay. Oh, but between. Footprints. There's two sets. Horse tracks. Horse tracks. Where's the patrol? Okay, well there's two potential options. That's Joel and Tommy's, or it's Dina's and Ellie's. Four more.
Come on. This way. Uh, right behind you. Okay. Right behind you, girl. Dina. Sorry, but we're gonna have to cut it here. <laughs> we're we're a little over an hour in. Guys, I am so excited to play this game, and I appreciate you already if you made it this far. Uh, putting up with my newbiness. I am ecstatic to know the story. I'm ecstatic to know the relationship between Joel and Ellie. I'm ecstatic to see her Ellie build new relationship with Dina and Jesse and Maria and Seth and all these other people that are around us, right? Because The Last of Us, it was lots of just Joel and Ellie. So there's lots of new relationships to be built. Plus, apparently we've learned that there's other characters to be played. Uh, Abby, Owen, Mel. We haven't even met Mel yet, but apparently she's pregnant. And Abby and Owen have some sort of like relationship, not relationship thing going on. Um, seem to be buddy-buddy, but whatever. And why is Abby looking for whoever's in this encampment that could potentially be in this encampment, right? Tommy and Joel's encampment, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's so many questions that I want answers to. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you'll stick around for the second episode, which will hopefully be out soon. Um, and we're going to get through this game and we're going to have, I already know we're going to have a lot of emotional moments, a lot of intense moments, a lot of dying by the crunchy Cyto Crispy things. Cyto Crispies, that's what I was calling them. I remember now because I can never remember cordyceps. Cyto Crispies, cordyceps, you yeah, know, same difference. Anyway, thanks guys for watching uh, and we'll see you next time.